Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Children of Morta. In the last video, we did some leveling, getting experience on both John and Linda. In this episode, we're going to attempt the next dungeon, using Joey, actually. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Oh, actually, before we get started, here's the current upgrades that I have and their levels. I'll try to remember to do this before each episode, everyone. Mary is still very sick. And so, let's try to get something to help her. There's supposed to be some sort of tree we need to find out here in Barahut. So let's head back out here and see if we can find this. <coughs> and Joey is by far the lowest level of all of us, so he's who we'll be taking next. And he also has no oh no corruption. Speaking of corruption, does anyone else have corruption? No, no corruption on anybody. Old Barahut, once an old and overgrown oasis for its citizens, was now nothing more than a slum for the denizens of the corruption. That's a lot of enemies. Here we go. I think one aspect of the game I really enjoy as well is that our hit points, our damage, our crit rate, they seem to be based mostly on the upgrades you've taken. It's just the individual skills. This is some sort of special hedgehog, I see. Uh, the skills are based on, on our level. Oh, this is going to be tough, Tim. Because <laughs> this thing is out of the way. We should also be getting levels very quickly with Joey, because he's only level 5. Uh, let's take Smite! Joey smashes the ground with heavy force, damaging enemies in front of him. And that is his Y ability gained. So there is some wind-up time for that. And that's a lot of things. fight that over here. Ah, this one fights like the others of its kind. Oh, nice! We, we do decent damage, and it has a good range on that ability, too. I don't want to take the health pot yet, because if we level... That will do some healing for us. Gain the effect of a random obelisk of Morta. So that that be a shrine we would gain the effect of. Oh, it's over here. Probably should be checked. Ooh, wow, that was close. I didn't even see it till it was practically mid-spring. Oh my god, Tim. That does... That You just took 120 damage. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to deal with these things. They do a ton of damage and are immune to knockbacks. Finally, those, those things make the most annoying sound, and they make it very often. We're going to hold on to this skill point, because everything requires at least two to level it up now. Probably go. Let's kill the annoying things first, I suppose. I did get smacked with it earlier, but it's good to know that that spiky thing it does actually is a point-blank AoE you can use to defend itself. I, I see a chest down in the south there, but we'll go north at the moment. This thing is so annoying to try to not get hit by it. Oh, nice! You can knock it down. Like, literally on the ground. I have to keep these things pinned, I suppose. I, that was an accident. I did not mean to fight that over the, over that, but I'll take it. We'll take a look and see what we earned. One second more nightmares. Increases maximum health. Very useful for Joey, since he, since he takes so much damage already. I was hoping for a potion from that, but money's okay too. I did not even see the, the rune mark on the ground there. So I was lucky that we were probably just within range of it. Right, be careful, Tim. That does not make you invulnerable. It just means that when things strike you, they take extra damage. So many 
respawning enemies. Actually, what's interesting about these ones is that I'm used to them needing a corpse. These ones are just materializing. Drag all these creatures together. There we go. That was good. Oh, nice. Kevin's fan of knives can show up if we take that. We'll leave it there at the moment. Using an obelisk will heal us with this one. Now we need to double all the way back. Take Kevin's rune before I go down to the next floor. I probably should hold on to at least these two gemstones as well, so I can purchase health potions in the future. It's so nice not to hear that annoying whatever those they're not rattler snakes, but it sounds like a sound like they would make. I don't know what I don't know what those uh those creatures are. Yeah, that sound. So there's another one of them up ahead somewhere. One held a gift. Two hit ferocious creatures. It was the lady or the tiger, the person. Nice, our rage is ready again. Let's swing much faster and do damage to anything that touches us. Oops, walk right into that. Oh, that does not last long. I'm going to want another point in, into his rage ability. Oh, that was a nice uh, find as well. That experience sh shrine right there. And I think uh, we'll do the the guess and then we'll get, go get Kevin's uh, rune the experience is still useful And we have three level ups waiting, so let's take Guardian's Rage. Oh, this doesn't increase the length of time that it lasts for. This just increases the damage that he does when moving through target, uh, when moving while it's in effect. I don't think I need another point in that then. 
if the if the length of the time doesn't increase. Let's grab another point in Forceful Evasion, then. This will be the first time I think I'm taking a skill of three points. This will also let me know if certain skills can be taken up to a fourth rank. And they cannot be. Okay. So three points here, too, on a skill. All right. Well, we do as much damage as our hammer normally would do when we dodge through enemies now. We've unlocked I'll Clear a Path. Joey appears when his family members are surrounded by a horde of enemies to perform his Whirlwind. Three minute cooldown, and Whirlwind is now available as well, so I think we'll go for that next. Stiff limbs of trees, long dead, groaned in the breeze as their fruitless struggle to remain upright continued, as if unaware they had fulfilled the only promise ever kept. Oh, that was very poetic to say. I just realized this also only has two levels in it. I can't imagine there'll be a boss for this one, but maybe we'll, I guess we'll find out. I'm not familiar with that shrine, but this one does. Rage regenerates at a greater rate. Oh, the totem. Oh, this is different. Creates a totem that shoots at enemies surrounding it. I thought this was, this was the buff totem. Let's give this a try. Mask of the Wise Guy. Levels, but we only have... Oh, we have a skill point. So let's grab Whirlwind. Joey's stamina fills by damaging enemies, allowing him to perform Whirlwind, damaging all around him. So we finally have something that uses his rate, his stamina. Oh! Joey uses Frenzy to perform Whirlwind. Primary attacks fill Frenzy. That must be... That must be a typo. It must be stamina, not frenzy. Yes, it's stamina. I am still taking way too much damage with Joey. It's difficult to not take damage with him because it's just how he works. But I should be trying to do a, l a lot better than I am currently doing. I need to. I need more. T I need to start swinging a second or two earlier than what I have been doing currently. We didn't kill him with that. We 
we roll runes. We've only got one rune on us, so... And I like the Fan of Knives ability. I don't think we can spend these gems on more treasure. I think we need to hold on to these gems to heal ourselves. Tim. I hear them bouncing. There they are. One medium one left, but it's kind of stuck. of the shrine to heal yourself there too, Tim. It looks like the shrines, and I, I kind of recognized it like two or three shrines, shrines ago, they have a maximum a number of enemies that they'll spawn. So I guess this was a, a giant park. The people would come here to relax or talk to other people. I see wells all along the path as well. No other... Oh, I was about to say no other buildings, but here's a door leading to some place. So I guess some people lived here too. Those must be windows to some other people's places of residence or ex residences. I hate you the most. I'll make that sound way too much. I think that ability's damage needs to be up next. I would like it to kill snakes with a single hit. Oh, I'd like to see the stand in the middle of uh, the fire flower. I was hoping we could kill... Uh, oh, maybe we did kill the hedgehog creature. Now it's over there. Nice. We have enough rage to help us in the fight with Bristol Boss. A blocking room. So this would be for his uh, whirlwind. Ooh. 
Ooh, I like the windmill. Not sure what I think about Whirlwind. I feel like Joey's standard attacks work just as well as it does. It's so much that it hits a big AoE. And it knocks back enemies. Like, keeps them stunned a little bit, at least. Compared to Whirlwind, which is like, it doesn't quite stun them. And it does less damage, it looks like, as well. We'll see... Actually, we have two points now. Let's... I was take another point in that. What does that do? Oh, yeah, that does a lot less damage. When low on health, Joey's will to survive motivates him even more, increasing his movement, speed, and damage. Hmm. Now let's take Smite up another rank. That's a lot of things. We roll all Divine Graces. I think that we will use this. Oh, we will... Uh, we don't, no, no. I don't think I really need the, the runes we roll. So, we are going to use this because only one of our two runes helps us. Uh, sorry, Divine Graces helps us. I'm not sure what I think of that. Oh my god, that's a lot of creatures. Oh nice, we, we got another rune. I don't want to use my rage yet. It was tempting to use it, but no. And what does this one do? Oh, we got this earlier. Okay, we got that rune earlier. Oh, okay. I think we're going to use the rage here. using one of them. Smite is followed by Linda's explosive Crisando. We have a full heal here. We'll leave that at the moment. Ah. Check on this blue room. Their backs strained, tortured and crooked with the struggle. The rock moved, but only an inch. Stand there and slug it out directly with them. Worldwind also fills Joey's rage with damaging enemies. Let's take that one. That sounds amazing. There you go, little guys. Create a totem that slows enemies. From this stone, vibrations radiated. Wave after wave washed over the hero. Releasing the tension of every muscle.
Oh, there's spikes on the other side. That's what was damaging me before. That sounds like that's another one of those rocks we need to bring Ben. What do we have? Three boulders fall from the sky. <laughs> Environmental hazards deal less damage. Decreased rage gain. Increases dodge chance. Let's buy... Let's first use this one. Increases the amount of more gained. Reduce the cooldown of all abilities and items. Are now our divine graces. But we lost max health. And let's take the feather pin. For more dodge chance. We have three runes left. We might as well take something. And now, for a boss. I, did, I actually didn't think there'd be a boss on this floor. What is this? A charm. Stun all nearby enemies. And the rune? Primary attacks inflict lightning damage on enemies. The tree of prosperity was withered after twisting away from Rhea's will. Oh! I don't know about this fight. I don't know uh, if Joey's the best person. It strikes me that the, this fight, we wanted someone who had ranged here. I don't think we do enough. Yeah, th there's no way. There's no way Joey's winning this fight. Joey requires a standing still to, to hit them and hurt them. be able to use, I suppose, our... We might be able to use our divine uh, relics to assist, I suppose. Oh, if we can destroy all of those quick enough, he's stunned for a little bit, I see. Oof, that really hurt. damage. Still take damage. That one health pot, though, was very helpful. I see it! I want it! and left behind the seed that the Bergsons were looking for. Wow, I thought for sure we were going to die. If not for those potions, we would have. We gained sharp weapons at the manuscript for another upgrade. No time to waste. Mary was waiting.
I really didn't think we were going to win that one when I saw how much damage we were taking. So the first, when he's walking towards you, you just keep dodging that, that part of the fight with a melee character. And then you engage only when it's in the roots uh, phase. Okay, I'll know that for the future. A sip of the potion was enough for Mary to open her eyes and for John to exhale with relief. Unbidden, pain shot up Mary's spine and filled her eyes. Something other than her illness. The baby was coming. It was time. The air was suddenly still. Mary's sickness had made them forget that the ravenous mountain god was after their baby. Curse! Even Rhea's light couldn't keep it at bay, couldn't delay the evil of the sacrifice forced upon them. When John held her for the very first time, she was crying the song of life. Life was all that went through her father's mind. How he wished that he could give his own life instead of his baby's. But his life was worthless to the cruel god. Mary burst into tears. She feared that John was going to give up their baby to save the world. A world that at this moment was worth nothing at all to her. What chance did the Bergsons have against this monstrous cruelty of an immortal god? What a rotten fate that had doomed them to this destiny. How could John accept this heinous cycle of looming apocalypse and child sacrifice? His whole body shook from the conflict inside him. Every glance from his family was like a mortal wound to his heart. Would they let hope die this day? This could not be the end. No. Grandma had already sacrificed herself for them. There would be no more sacrifices. Together, they were going to break that cycle and defeat unjust fate. And the look in their eyes became one of resolve. For life, for hope. Would their decision bring even more of the mountain gods' corrupted wrath upon them. They worried together, but each time they looked at Hope and saw her smile, resolve and belief in a better future would ease their worry. I was hoping that they were going to name her Hope. That was... That's such a nice touch, too. Wow. Good for them. 
Maybe this entire time, this has been a test that the Mountain God was having to see if humans would continue to sacrifice their people to save, like, uh, their child to save, uh, to delay the inevitable. And it's not what he wanted at all. But they were willing to do it, which made him angry and agree to that pact. Be interesting if there was a twist like that. Well, I guess we'll find out as we go forward. Everyone, let's take a few upgrades and then that will do it for us. Where are the masks kept, by the way? Oh, there's the, there's the mask in Kevin's room. For the hopeless god of the hopeless god? And it looks like they're all praying together down there. Aww. Alright, let's take some upgrades. So we've unlocked sharp weapons, increases the Bergenson's critical hit damage. Let's take this a few times. We have so much money. Actually, before we do that then, we should come over here. And we'll upgrade Obelisk of Remembrance. Increases the efficiency of Obelisk effects. And now, we'll grab a few points in this. Okay, everyone, and that'll do it for us. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next one. This, this, this was going to be kind of short. But still, it was awesome. <laughs> I think it was pretty epic, the ending here. And uh, everyone's kind of the same level, I think. So we'll probably try the next dungeon, whatever that will be. I'll see you guys in the next one. And take care, everyone. Thanks for watching.